الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear respected brothers in the city of Brisbane in the country of Australia I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make these gatherings of yours fruitful gatherings and there is no doubt that when you get together for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to learn religious knowledge to learn how to implement your religion how to benefit yourself benefit your family benefit the Muslims who are around you this is something extremely important Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he created us to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala and to single him out in his lordship, in his worship, and his names and attributes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in Surah Al-Dariyat, he said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That he did not create jinn and human, except that they should worship him. And this is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. And this is a great opportunity for you, my dear respected brothers, to reflect upon this ayah and not to forget the purpose of the creation. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship him. And as you see, the people around us, many of them, they are in desperate need of understanding this ayah. They are in desperate need of knowing the purpose of their creation. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create them? Because many of the people, they don't understand why they are on the surface of this earth. They don't really understand why. So it's our duties, my dear respected brothers, and if the sisters are there also listening, this is a message also for the sisters. For us to share this great ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us as Salafis, because the Salafis, Wallahi alhamd, they know why they were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why Allah created them, because they know this ayah, and they know the purpose why they are on this earth. They know this, but other people, majority of the people, they don't understand this and they don't know why. And that's why they're so confused. So, it is an obligation upon us, my dear respected brothers and sisters, to learn a tawheed, to understand it, to implement it, and also to call the people around us. I am sure that the city of Brisbane has a big population of Muslims. And as you know, and it is not hidden from you, that the masajid in the city of Brisbane and the adjacent cities, the cities that are closer 
to Brisbane that this masajid they are controlled by the people of innovation the people of partisanship from the Muslim Brotherhood the Tablighis the Takthiris the Khawarij and the like of them the Sufi and other than that so it's time it's high time for us my dear respected brothers and sisters it's high time for us to get together and work hard to establish the markaz inshallah that will be opening bi idnillah ta'ala soon establish the markaz establish khutbah al-jumu'a jumu'a sermon establish the five daily salawat provide classes for the people male and females give out pamphlets give out cds buy and collect money for a cd a cd duplicator and just give out the cds to the people so that they can learn about tawhid and believe me if you were to run a survey in those masajid in the area if you were to run a survey about tawhid ask the people the meaning of la ilaha illallah ask them about the pillars of la ilaha illallah the two pillars of la ilaha illallah the conditions of la ilaha illallah the nullifiers many of them they were they don't have an answer because of the wicked and also the fruitless political cultivation of the ikhwan al muslimin because the ikhwan muslimin they teach their followers politics and what's going on in the political arena so they never learn about tawhid so this is an opportunity for us to teach those commoners to invite them to our gatherings and honor them give them food make them feel comfortable because a lot of them these commoners they don't know any better they don't know any better they just go there because it's convenient the masjid is there because it's convenient so my dear respected brothers and sisters the sisters they can give dawa to the women to the girls young girl especially young girls they will be more susceptible they will be more recipient to accept the salafi dawa and i also advise you my dear respected brothers and sisters to take it easy on the people be gentle in your dawa and this is what our sheikh al allama sheikh rabi ibn hadi al madkhali hafizahullah ta'ala may allah protect him may allah grant him good life a good long life and may allah grant him good health and may allah reward him for his precious advice to the salafis the sheikh hafizahullah ta'ala he advised us to be gentle with the people and he, he quote the hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he sent the sahaba to yemen and he said yasira wa la tu'sira bashira wa la tunfira 
Yes, Sirah, make, make things easy for the people. And do not make it hard on the people. Don't burden them with so many things. Teach them one thing at a time. For example, you teach them the merits of La ilaha illallah. The fruits and the benefits of La ilaha illallah. For example, you tell them, you know it came in the authentic hadith. That if you perform the wudu properly. And at the end of the wudu, you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Tawheed. Look. Tawheed. You say, I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. Allah will open the eight gates of paradise for you. Look at this. You can tell them, look at the benefit of learning Tawheed. This is the benefit of this statement. The statement has a meaning. This statement has two pillars, negation and affirmation. This statement of Tawheed also has conditions. Seven or eight conditions. Also there are nullifiers that we have to be aware of. So you go little by little, little by little, teach them gradually. With good manners, good akhlaq. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in, in, the, in the sound hadith, he said, وَخَالِقِ النَّاسَ بِخُلُقٍ حَسَنٍ And deal with the people with great character, great manner. Deal with the people with great character. Because if you have a good character, good mannerism, good etiquette, then you win the heart of the people. The people will listen to you. They will take from you. But if you are tough, hard, harsh, stern with the people, the people, they will flee away from you. They will run away from you. So I advise my dear respected brothers and sisters to be gentle when it comes to giving da'wah to the non-Salafis. Because these people... They don't know any better. And they were taught like that. So we have to be gentle with them. In our dealing with them. The bottom line, we must have good akhlaq, good manners, good character. The other thing also I advise the brothers in Brisbane, Brisbane and the sisters, please do not, do not divide among you, yourself. Do not divide. I advise you to work together. Upon al birr wa taqwa As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِتْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ and cooperate with one another upon al birr righteousness with taqwa piety and do not cooperate with one another upon sin and transgression cooperate with one another so when we, when you open the markaz inshallah those amongst you among the brothers for example those who know arabic know quran for example Teach your brothers. Teach the, your brothers. Invite the people. Make a flyer. Make a flyer. Let the people know in the community that you're offering classes, Quran, how to recite the Quran properly with proper makharij, tajweed, and other than that. Teaching the kids and the adults as well. How to read the Quran. How many Muslims? They've been Muslims for years. And you ask them, Akhi, do you know how to read from the Mus'haf? He would say no. I read from the transliteration. Wallahi, this is a shame. This is a shame. You don't need to do that. Alhamdulillah, you can learn. You can learn, Barakallah Fikum. Teach 
تيتش دام القاعده النورانيه القاعده النورانيه has 17 lessons in it the kids and the adults they can learn there is no excuse for anyone not to learn القاعده النورانيه finish it and then start reading the quran doing classes every week you have a class in the masjid quranic class and tafsir tafsir sheikh abd rahman bin saadi rahimahullah it's very easy and simple for example you have classes with the student of knowledge on zoom or mixler or other social media platform barakallah fikum i advise you my dear respected brothers not to differ and not to divide among yourself because you are very few and you need to work together you need to work hard if you want the fruits and benefits you need to work hard and cooperate with one another allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا ولا تفرقوا and hold on fast all of you together to the rope of Allah سبحانه وتعالى الإسلام القرآن السنة and do not be divided do not be divided amongst one another so this is the killer right here when we divide this is what the shaitan wants from us so we have to be united especially in the land of the non-muslims we are in desperate need to be together to work together and if you do that you will see the fruits and benefit inshallah i also advise you to have sincerity allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran wama umiru illa liya'budu allah mukhlisin lahu ad-din and they were not commanded except to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity with sincerity because if you have sincerity you will reap the fruits and the benefit inshallah ta'ala let's all work together and do not divide it among among each other do not divide don't get divided no bickering no tail tearing no tail carrying he said she said leave all that alone work hard be sincere you're doing everything for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if anything happens to you in the way it's for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you must know that the road is not paved with the roses you're going to encounter difficulties but inshallah ta'ala with sincerity you're gonna overcome those obstacles the da'wah salafiya must spread we cannot let this hizbiyin these people ahl al-bid'ah the people of innovation as we say in the arabic in in the arab world we don't let them lay their chicks and have their uh, lay their eggs and have their chicks we don't let them uh, lay their eggs and have their chicks we should be the one in the lead because we have the haq with us we have the truth with us the proper understanding of the kitab was sunnah this is what the salafis walillahi alhamdul distinguished from the people of bid'ah The people of Bid'a, their methodology is different from the methodology of the Salafis because they take their methodologies from their figurehead and their founders.
حسن البنا سيد قطب المودودي اناضل اندم محمد الياس كندلاوي محمد الياس كندلوي but the Salafis ولله الحمد they take their understanding from الكتاب والسنة from the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and his companions and those three best generations these are the Salafis so I advise you my dear respected brothers and sisters to love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when you love your brother for the sake of Allah this love will last and the sister also when you love your sister for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this love will last and do not be divided work hard have sincerity love one another for the sake of Allah I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you all the tawfiq wa sadad so work together those who are good in certain field like for example in secular knowledge they can also pitch in and help those who need that secular knowledge and those who know ayat from the Quran some of the ahadith of the messenger of Allah they know how to teach Arabic and the like they should be doing that that's how we cooperate with one another and we help one another and this is how the da'wah salafiya will grow and this is how the da'wah will spread because the people they are looking at us looking at the fruits and benefits so if you have classes for example and the people in the area they find out it's a new masjid who opened in the area it's a new markaz they have no idea about the salafi da'wah but when they come in and they start learning walillahi alhamd you're going to see the fruits and benefit بإذن الله تعالى. I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to make this gathering very fruit, very fruitful, very profitable, very successful. And I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to aid you all, brothers and sisters, in the city of Brisbane and in Australia, those in Sydney and other areas. The Salafis in Australia. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid you, spread the Salafi da'wah in Australia. And may Allah grant you all a tawfiq wa sadada wa al-ikhlas fi al-qawli wa al-amal. Innahu waliyu dhalika wa al-qadiru alayhi. Sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.